not to be rude, but you don't have cortisol face. Thank you. Thank you. You don't have cortisol face. You don't have a buffalo hump. You don't have a problem with inappropriate secretion of cortisol unless a physician or other trained healthcare provider has diagnosed you with Cushing syndrome, which requires either blood work or urinary secretion testing or something called a dexamethasone suppression test to get that diagnosis of inappropriate secretion of cortisol. This trend of influencers and companies selling supplements for a made-up diagnosis of cortisol phase, high cortisol, is so insulting and honestly unethical. This is like the rebranded and complete opposite version of a couple years back where adrenal fatigue was all the rage and being told that was your diagnosis, which basically is the opposite, saying that your adrenals aren't working, you're not able to you know, secrete the appropriate response of cortisol, so that's why you're always tired and whatever the claims were back then. This is just a rebrand of that claim. And so people who I understand they're frustrated with their symptoms, maybe they're not getting answers from their healthcare providers, but the answer is not turning to unverified individuals just trying to sell you something that has no evidence and not linked to any cure to what you're experiencing. She could not have said this more perfectly. And I do want to share what possible medications could be causing cortisol face. Again, make sure to check with your provider. You may see this if you're on corticosteroids for a long period of time. It's like your prednisone, your dexamethasone, even your stimulant medications like your Adderalls, your methylphenidate. But as this healthcare provider stated, you do not just wake up randomly with cortisol face. And if you ever have questions about anything over the counter, like for example, these treatments for cortisol face, Ask your pharmacist. They will tell you what to take over the counter and what things not to take.